Hi you guys, this is Queen Sandra XO and um, I'm coming with you guys, I'm coming to you guys with another reading. So I did a poll today, which I love the fact that you guys respond to my polls because it helps me to be able to figure out what's going on. So what's going on and which I want to see. So I got a lot of messages about um, you guys saying that you want, I said, what abilities do you have that will make you successful? You guys want to see that one, but the messages say you guys want to see that one, but you guys voted for, will they tell you how they feel? So I have to go with the majority because that was 41%. And then tomorrow I will do what ability, abilities that you will have that make you successful. So let's see anything else before I get started. Mm, no okay so let's get started um i'm still having my special which is five questions for twenty dollars uh is the love me always dot com if you're interested if you want to buy me another deck which i can always use another one <laughs> i have an amazon link that's in the description box I want to say that I really do love you guys from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me that you guys actually give a fuck what I'm saying, you know. But we have three pals today, which is A, B, and C. Pick the pal that best resonates with your energy. Always remember to go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. And we're going to get started. With pal A, will they tell you how they feel? No. They're too shooted now. You will have to wait for them to get the courage. They're going through stuff in the back of their mind. You're there, but they have too much other things to focus on right now. Spirit is saying, if you want to wait for them, which I don't believe in waiting for any fucking body, but if you're single while they're single and they want to approach you, then it will be worth your time. But Spirit is saying, have fun right now. So let's see. What's going on with Pal A? Will they tell them how they feel? What's going to happen? What is about to happen? What's going on? Oh, desire to move on. You, you guys, is it them or is it them? You guys want to walk away. Like, you feel like you need something else. Like, you, you just something that's going to be more victorious in your life. Something that's going to be more rewarding. Something that's want to make you feel like you're everything because it's it's a lot of sense of being trapped in this connection and you wanting more so you just you feel kind of bound to it a little bit and it causes you heartbreak because you want to work with this person you want to be with them this this night of pinnacles but he's taking all fucking day and holding on to how he feels the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio capricorn taurus virgo right yeah like this king, this masculine energy, I think they do want to tell you how they feel, but they won't. Seven of Wands, being very defensive over their beliefs and their decision. Like, this person is very guarded with the information. Look, challenging information, delays or changes to the plan, truth delivered without tact. This person is very guarded with how they feel and what they want. Events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, making things happen at once. So what's this? What's this Eight of Wands situation? Um, what is that? The Hermit. Exactly. Like <laughs> this MF. -er. Um, it's like they want things to happen between you two, but they hold back. So it's like. They want this to happen, like I said before. I'm trying to read the card and get the energy. So they want they want to stop being so defensive, and they want to communicate how they feel truthfully, like give you all of it. And when they get ready to do and they open up their phone, they stop themselves. Because they're indecisive about what can happen with this connection. Honestly, 
he's not all clear in his thoughts. That's a King of Swords. That's a, uh, I was about to say Leo. No, that's not a Leo. Well, maybe Leo, but King of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, and uh, I was going to say Sagittarius. Ugh, fuck. I, the spirit is throwing names, I mean, uh, birthdays out of me. Uh, fucking Zodiac signs. Hold up, can't get my mind together. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yep. They want to tell you how they feel. There's this page of cups. But they feel like they're not ready. <coughs> There's two of swords energy. Being indecisive about what they really want to manifest. What will be best and just for them. So they're seeking out other avenues. Trying to get trying to get their mind right. That's what I feel like they're trying to do. Really get their mind right. But, 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 and then you, it's so crazy, King of Swords, and then you're coming out, well, the feminine energy is coming out as a Queen of Swords, someone who is very um, logical, very independent, someone who's in the, her own head, so he, the masculine's in their head, and then the, the feminine is in their head, and all they think about is each other, but don't really say anything to each other. <laughs> Y'all funny. Sounds like my situation. Awakening, the Chariot, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Star card. So they're going to come back around and give you some dick because that's what the fuckboys are good for. <laughs> that's why we keep them around, okay? Uh, the Spirit is saying things are moving forward. Actually, you have a positive time of change. I don't know if you guys see my white cat, but he is around here somewhere. He is a big boy. I don't know if you guys want to see him. If you do, you know, put a comment down and I'll show him in the next one. Um, the chariot, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moving forward, fortune is on your side, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, falling in love or the reassurance of a relationship, spiritual growth. You know what's so funny? I feel like this person has been growing up. <laughs> I feel like they've been putting on a big boy pants and, or, you know, big masculine, whatever. Oh, then look, I made, so I made these cards a long time ago and they real freaky and I've been kind of nervous about using them. But look, this card, it, it turned over. So you know the song about music, Soul Child, Love? So it says, so many things I got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. Oh, because there's a possibility that you'll look at me differently. Love. Mm, and we're talking about what he wants to say. This is so nice. And I'm not even high, but this is really nice, spirit. Oh, So what they want to say is that they love you. But they don't know how to tell you that. Let me read it again because it just made me wet a little bit. So many things I got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. Because there's a possibility that you'll look at me differently. This is Music Soul Child Love. So if y'all go, if you guys want to go listen to that, then, you know listen to it um and it just gave me confirmation that i need to use these cards three of cups so you guys are coming back around coming back around to have fun with each other uh i feel like this person has been growing up and it's going to be happy times and he's going to come back as a fuck boy but you know he can't really help that he's trying to grow up i can see that so give him that but it's like this person is honestly growing up trying to look at the situation differently i want to know anything you want to Prayer works. What else should they know, pal? A. Oh, it came out again. Oh. oh, and I got girl, you about to get some dick. Don't don't judge me. Don't judge me, okay? Judge yourself, okay? <laughs> These cards were for personal use. Don't judge me. So, oh, what else should they know? Anything else I should tell them? Go have sex. Just do it. It will make you feel better. Don't judge me. I feel like y'all judging me in the comment section. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's time to communicate. Your goals are waiting to be accomplished. Anything else? Meditation. Anything else? One more. Okay. And then look, look, look. You need some dick or some pussy. So now you about to start. It's probably about to get some dick. Use your intuition. Fertility. Okay. Soulmate and you are in alignment. Okay, so I feel like with my personal cards, 
This is how this person feels. So it says, so many things I got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how because there's a possibility that you'll look at me differently. This person is in love with you. And it's time to communicate. You have some goals that you need to accomplish. And you know what I'm getting from spirit? This person have goals with you. This person has things that they need to do with you. I don't think they know for sure what these goals are, but spirit has a plan for you guys. And this person, it's time for this per it's time for this to happen. You're about to get some dick. And, and if you keep praying about this situation, it does work. Using your intuition is something that you need to. I even put my stuff. Stop asking the cards you already know. This is your soulmate, definitely. Uh, I feel like you guys are going to create a child or create some type of energy together that's going to be in sync. Meditation. Look, sit your ass down. Okay. So... And then look, go have sex, just do it, it will make you feel better, and, and you're in alignment. So, with being with this person, it's something that was meant to happen from spirit. You're in alignment with this person, and this person loves you. They love you, but they just don't know how to tell you. It says I'm, and, and when I created this card, I didn't create it to mean that. I created it to mean that this, you know, that they feel the energy like you do. But it's so funny. It says, I'm afraid I don't know how because that's a possibility. I got to tell you. So many things I got to tell you. But they're afraid that you'll look at them differently. They have something to tell you. Are they going to tell them eventually, though? No. They're going to hold on to it. So what does this time to communicate mean? They're going to message you soon. That, that was my phone getting messages. They're going to message you soon. This is my mama. Sure is. Um, but Spirit's saying that you guys have goals that, that you're waiting to accomplish. So for this pal, I'm going to tell you what they want to tell you that they're afraid to say. They love you. They love the fuck out of you. And they, they're coming back around and you guys are going to... This person ain't going nowhere. So I, I wouldn't even feel no type of way. But I don't think they're going to tell you this anytime soon. I honestly think they're going to just come back around and give you some dick. And that's their way of showing you how they love you. Like with my, uh, I hope he doesn't watch this shit. I really do. But I'm going to tell y'all anyways. <sighs> I'm so tired of his shit. But the way he shows his emotion for me, the way I see it, is that he, when we make love, it's, if I haven't seen him in a long time, I'm a type of person, I don't really like giving head, especially if I don't fucking like you. But for him, for some reason, I love giving him head. And, like, last time I seen him, he just grabbed my face and made out with me and kissed me so passionately like he missed me. That's his way of communicating how he feels. So, you know, everything doesn't need to be said with words to sum it up. So we're going to move on to Pal B. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if it resonated. And if you want a personal reading, the website is thelovemealways.com. It's in the description box, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. But we're going to move on to Pal B. So for Pal B, I made me some personal cards, but we're going to pull those out afterwards. So for Pal B, is he or she going to tell them how they feel? This person says they, they already have. They already have said what they wanted to say to you. You know how they feel. But you choose to not believe them. Is it good or bad? This person says that they love you and they care about you. I don't know if it's that strong of love yet, but they, they definitely give a fuck about you, but they're just not ready. They got other shit they need to do. I'm concentrating on work and life. It's not you, it's me. I want to be there, but I can't. Okay. What's going on? What's going on? I have these, uh, my cards. I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Someone's been giving. Temperance, soulmate, balance, spiritual balance, 
tired of waiting so you taking your own coins being successful anxiety page of wands going off on your own journey king of cups cancer pisces scorpio inquiring knowledge wanting something traditional actually kind of a spiritual card so this means like the higher fit means like traditional uh spiritual development going to church you know that type of energy actually you're actually at a point where you're gaining strength inner strength tired of probably even giving so much tired of giving so much energy but wanting to work on this connection but things are changing after a tower moment so what's happening with pal b so much anxiety wanting more wanting more victory tired of waiting so you're probably going on your own journey i feel like somebody's has been probably even over giving wanting something that's stable with this king of cups because you feel this 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 soulmate energy wanting to work on this probably even clinging to this relationship so hard but trying to gain inner strength to be able to move on so what's happening with pal b these are my personals do you have the love card let's see it comes back out again Fertility, creating some abundance together or creating a child, either one. Within a month, it's success. Hmm. Marriage. Hmm, okay. Fuck no. Hold on. I don't know who that is. Okay. Within a month, success so whatever success means to you regarding this relationship that victory card then that's going to be success you have marriage this involves love a fertility um check your fertility there's a baby on the way or a new idea a brand new start something that's going to grow and there you go there's your fertility too so you're you're probably you probably created something with this person and you're tired of waiting for it to blossom so you're taking you're ready to take what else is next? What what should they know? Get your money together, bitch. I'm sorry. These were my personal cards for me. So, if they too much for you, I'm sorry. But get off my channel because my channel is a lot. Okay? Y'all shouldn't expect anything less from me than to give you the most. Okay? Health. Check on your health. Um, fertility and health together, when I made this deck, was to tell me that I'm pregnant or I need to check my cycle. Okay? Get your money together, bitch. Um, deck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Deck card is all about you, you not focusing so much on this connection, but focusing on your abundance. This card keeps coming out. It keeps coming out. For the women out there that loves vagina as much as I do, and for the men out there that loves pussy just as much as I do, you're about to get some, okay? But for the women out there that love dick as much as I do, and for the men out there that love dick just as much as I do, you're about to get some dick. Or you're about to get some pussy and some dick, hey, okay? That sounds like a good time to me. Uh, what else should they know? So, is this abundance? I keep seeing abundance as well. So, you're creating. So, if it's not a baby, then you're creating some abundance with this person. It says, check surrounding cards to see what type of abundance, love, sex, money, or happiness. You might be getting pregnant. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, for the people that's not getting pregnant, then don't worry about it. But you're creating something with this person. It's like, and then you got fuck no. Whatever fuck no means, fuck no. Okay. But I want to get more deep into the situation. That was just some, some advice cards. I'm a lot, so don't mind me. But what's going on with this person? Like, how do they feel? What do they want to say? Like, if they do ever say anything to you, what will they say? That they love you and they care. This person cares. I feel like they genuinely care. What would they say? And if y'all like those cards, let me know and I'll use them more often. <laughs> the King of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. What's going on? What's about to happen? Someone's about to stop being so defense. Wait, wait, wait. Reverse or upright? Reverse or upright? Upright. I feel like I still feel like somebody's about to stop being so fucking defensive. It's like 
The Knight of... Okay, 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 okay. So I got two different energies. The King of Pentacles wants to give you love, wants to build that stability. But then the Knight of Wands is like, come on, dude, we can't, we can't do this right now. Like, we want to tell her how we feel. We want to tell the feminine or whoever this energy is. We want to tell them how we feel, but then they be like, ah, you got to stop because we're not ready. We, we trying to build our abundance. You can't be doing this shit. We can't be doing this. Not right now. Damn, he's going through the whole day. And the emperor's at the top. But you feel it. You feel this. You feel him loving you. He told you that he loved you, though. He said that. Hmm. Huh. Yep. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. All these fucking cards fall on the floor. Nine of Cups. Two of Cups. Queen of Swords. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Poopy. Mommy didn't know you were down there. Just kick my cat in the face because I didn't know he was sitting underneath me. Two of Cups, Nine of Cups. The Queen of Swords. What are you protecting? I feel like you're protecting yourself. Like, you feel this connection just as much as they do, and you want this just as much as they do. But why is this Queen of Swords here? What is she? Oh, you get your energy together. You're. I think you're going to walk away for a little while, just to manifest your own abundance. That's why abundance is on the board. Just to create your own wealth so that you can be able to have the things that you want. You're tired of waiting for some shit. And I think this was the power where the person was taking their own coin because they were tired of waiting. Yeah, I feel like you're at a space where you're going to walk away. Like, you feel this connection and it will be a dream come true for you. But it's not happening in this reality. So, you're going to pick up and move on. And try to... And I don't know if it's going to be forever. I don't think it's going to be forever. Is she coming back? Is this feminine coming back to this masculine? Not right now. Give it a couple months and she'll come back around. She'll start missing him. And he'll start missing her. And he'll look up and be like, where the fuck she at? But you've been waiting. And, you, and it's like... You have ace, ace, ace. Wanting to create something more balanced. Wanting to give to yourself instead of waiting. Gaining inner strength. Wanting to be unplugged. Wanting to move over to something that's going to bring you happiness. It's like... This person is coming so fucking slow. And it's like, okay, how long do I have to wait? But they are trying to become the emperor, looking out for something that's going to be more future bound. Like this person cares for you. They just not ready. Why these motherfuckers is not ready? I don't know. It must be something in the water. I don't fucking know. But thank you for watching. Uh, if it resonated, it made any type of sense. I feel like I was kind of all over the place with this one. But anxiety is something that you need to get rid of and gain more spiritual balance. Let go of these burdens. And realize that you can have the world and the family that you seek. Okay? Stop being so sad about something that you feel like you can't change. You need to move forward in the direction and stop fighting yourself. Get over this heartbreak. Start working on something that's going to bring you abundance. Start working on your emotional. What would make you happy? Like your legacy, you need to work on that. And stop being in this fucking toxic ass connection. I feel like you're indecisive about if you should stay or if you should leave. Should they stay or should they leave this connection? Stay for now. Okay, Spirit is saying that you should stay in this connection, but for right now, it will be beneficial in the future. But I feel like you need to, like, nurture your own garden, your own space, your own energy. In the future, it will bring some abundance to you. It definitely will bring something that's going to be a valuable. Right now, this person is too defensive over this love, too defensive over their heart. Okay, pal, me? If that made any type of sense, let me know. Comment down below if it resonated and we're moving on to Pal C. Pal C. What is going on with Pal C? <clears throat> What's going on with Pal C? Will this person tell you how they feel? 
for Palsy, will that will they tell them how they feel? Yes. At a certain time in the future. Give it like three months. Three, four months. And they're going to step up and be ready to tell you how they feel or actually be ready for a relationship. How they feel. They're ready for a relationship now, but they're kind of scared. What are they scared of? Move that out of the way I can't see. Rejection. They're scared of rejection. Not knowing how you respond. Not knowing if the real, if the love is true, if the connection is true. Yeah, if you want this person, I feel like you need to go to them. Because they're too afraid. They don't think that it's real. They don't know if you feel the same way about them. So they're kind of scared. What's going on with Posse? Why is this... Why this little baby scared? Why, why this masculine scared? Nine of Cups. The World card. Two of Cups. Four of Pentacles. He wants to hold on to this. This is a wish. That this person wants to hold on to the connection. It's a wish come true for them. It's the path towards enlightenment. They're content. They wanted to grow closer. They're scared though. Is he coming off as a page? Oh, okay. I was about to say, fuck, damn. It can't even be a knight. Gotta be a page. An unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. News of an exciting new endeavor. They want to take this journey with you, but they're very scared about your motivation, your intention. This person seems like they, they've been having their heart broken. The Knight of Cups, like, it's energy over them falling in love. But it's like them falling in love is creating stress. Not seeing the positive. Like, they, it's, it's very stressful for them, this relationship. This this loving you. For whatever reason. It can be 101 reasons. Only God knows why they're so fucking stressed out. Like, love is supposed to be difficult or hard. <sighs> the nine of... Pentacles, life, release, and night of God. There you go. So they choose to be single because it's easier. It's easier. But I feel like spirit is, um, spirit is, like, it says a significant life event, a powerful revelation, at least a change. The end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation. Spending quiet time alone. I feel like this person chooses to be single and chooses not to step up because of fear and but spirit is coming spirit is coming spirit is saying that this is a life experience or something that you were meant to something that you were meant to do what, what would they say though what is the energy what should they know get your money together be okay so before i start spitting these cards out these were personal cards for me okay but for pal a Spirit told me to use them like a couple of days ago. And then for Pal A, the card that best resonated with their reading popped out. So if y'all want to see it, then y'all can go back to Pal A. But since so Spirit is telling me to use them, I'm going to use them. Now, I have a very potty mouth and a very dirty mouth and a very dirty mind. Okay, it's nasty. And uh, just to let y'all know. So don't judge me, judge yourself. Prayer works. No, stop asking. Mind you, these are for personal use. Not the one. Yes, yes, yes. You got it. Trust the process. Look, this is the one and do that spell. So, um, Spirit is saying that, 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 Spirit is saying that they have a lot of, they have a lot of connection in this, this, this relationship. Yeah, two major iconas, and all, both of them are talking about spiritual transformation. Time to spread your wings. A powerful revelation that leads to change from spirit. Hey, you got it. Trust the process. That's Quavo said that, you know, from Amigos. So it's like, it, it teeters back and forth from this person being the one and them not being the one. 
But Spirit is saying, stop asking. Stop being in your fucking head about this connection. Uh, I don't know if you guys are practicing hoodoo or whatever. Uh, but if you've been needing to do some type of spell, some type of energy work, do that. And you'll be successful. But you got the, you got it. Trust the process. This is the process that's happening. And I told y'all in the next couple of months, this person's going to come at you and say something. What else? What are they going to say? Hope this is making, oh, that's what the first, look, Romans. This is the first, and patience, I know. Patience, I know. I know. That, that card was created for me because, bitch, I hate patience. But it says, this was this is the card that came out for Pal A. It says, so many things I've got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. Because there's a possibility that you'll look at me differently. Love. This person loves you. But this card was um, Music Soul Child. The song is called Love. But what I get from this is like, I've got to tell you. There's so many things I've got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. This person wants to talk. They want to express how they feel. But fear. Fear is a, fear is a son of a bitch. But they, they feel their romantic feelings for you. Fear is a son of a bitch. Within a year. Within a year what? Abundance. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Abundance, abundance, abundance. You have a lot of timing cards. You have a lot of timing energy. Um, within a year, within two years, so within a year, probably 21, 22, 20, between those years, you will have abundance with this person. Actually, your money is getting together. You're going to have good things. So this energy time frame, what does this mean? Damn, you have so many times. Look, within a month, within a week, crawl before you walk. So, timing, okay, so I get it, Spirit. Divine timing is at play in this relationship. It's at play in this relationship. And Spirit is saying that you need to crawl before you walk. So, instead of you trying to run and make it happen, Spirit is putting together little increments of time. So, within a week, something's going to happen. Within a month, something's going to happen. Within a year, something's going to happen. Within two years, something's going to happen. So, it's like things are happening, but... In increments, if that makes sense. I hope this is making sense to y'all. Kind of feel like I'm all over the place. I want to keep pulling, though. To be honest with you, <laughs> I want to keep pulling from my deck. Uh, anything else you want to tell them? What else? What else should they know? All you need is the money. <laughs> you got another card about abundance. So focus on your money. Your money is something that you need to look. Look, you got abundance again. So within a month, you got some money coming. And yes, yes, yes. So if you've been focusing on the that nine of a uh, nine of pentacle energy, nine of earth energy, that means that you're about to get some money. All you need is the money, abundance within a month. Yes. So your money's looking up. Hmm, good for you. That's nice. Anything else they want to know? Romance. So within a... Okay, so since it landed on within a month, romance. You got some romance coming. <laughs> so, um, Spirit is saying that for right now, fuck them. Get your money. You are in alignment. Go have sex. Just do it. It will make you feel better and balanced. I feel like sex will bring you balance. But if this person comes back around and they want to fuck, Spirit says, go ahead and do it. But fuck them. Like, keep them at an arm's length. Because right now, you need to be concentrating on your abundance. Balance is definitely coming. It's something of important. What does this mean? You guys will have balance if you concentrate on other things for right now. But romance is definitely, this person definitely cares about you definitely cares about you and you're in alignment with what, how you're supposed to be whatever you're supposed to be doing you're in alignment so if that was ever a question it shouldn't be you're doing what you need <laughs> so if you are a um, woman that likes women you're about to get some pussy if you're a man that likes women you're about to get some pussy just to let you know that just to let you know and then one more card to fall on the floor then I'm gonna let y'all go marriage 
that's a possibility of marriage with this situation. I feel like it's all about divine timing, though. Divine timing is at play in this relationship. I say that shit a lot, but it's so true. So true. So if you guys like this reading, like the reading, subscribe to my channel, and know that you're in alignment because they wanted me to tell you that. It popped right out. You're, you're where you're supposed to be. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? But right now, fuck them and concentrate on your abundance. Money is money is definitely coming to you. Thank you for pal C for watching. Uh, if you like the reading, like the reading, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if it resonated, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.